This is obviously a surprise. It's, it's bigger than expected, uh, half a percentage point rather than the quarter percentage point, which was widely uh, anticipated by economists. It takes interest rates up to 5%. What does it do? It underlines just how concerned they are about inflation. It underlines just how worried they are about the fact that it's not just that overall inflation rate of 8.7%. It's the fact that it's the particular things that they're most worried about. Services inflation, that's rising fast. Uh, the economy does look like it's slightly hotter than they expected. And as a result of that, they're having to act. They're having to raise interest rates by more than most people in markets and indeed pretty much any of the economists expected, underlining just how concerned they are about it. In terms of the impact it'll have on mortgages, that's a more tricky question. I mean, if you're on a floating rate mortgage, clearly this will be reflected immediately. You'll see immediately that increase of half a percentage point. However, most fixed rate mortgages, so the things that the vast majority of people are on, they are fixed. They're priced off what's going on in money markets. And money markets, they may already have reflected the fact uh, long ago that the Bank of England was likely to raise interest rates faster uh, and higher than expected, certainly higher than expected. Therefore, it may not necessarily have an immediate impact. We'll have just to have a look at what happens in markets. But yeah. This just shows, you know, when other central banks around the world uh, were slowing the rate at which they're raising interest rates, looking as if they were getting closer to their peak, the Bank of England has surprised everyone by raising interest rates more than expected, up by half a percentage point, so up to 5%, up from 4.5% to 5%. That is big news. It's unexpected, and it just underlines how concerned they are about what's happening with inflation. And Ed, also the warning from the bank that they are going to keep looking at this and, and you know, should inflation continue, you know, I think we, we should clearly all have in the back of our minds that this may well not be the 13th and last rise. This could be the 13th in the middle of many more rises. Yeah, I think that's the question. No one knows at what point the peak is going to be. I mean, when you think back, not long ago, no one thought it was going to get to 5% where we are now. As of this moment, just after that decision, we are at 5%, a level that a lot of people didn't think we, we would actually get to. A lot of people thought that it was going to peak at maybe 4.5%, some people even lower. And so we are just in a different world to the one that we thought we were in previously. And people will, will ask questions about the extent to which that's because of forecasting failures here. The Bank of England was slow to see that inflation was rising. They were slow to incorporate higher prices into their forecasts. And as a result of that, some people think they were behind the curve. What they are potentially doing today is to underline to people that they want to be ahead of the curve, raising rates far faster than expected. Obviously, though, there is a bearing for the wider economy. Right now, it is essentially flatlining. This will raise questions about whether you may well see a dip. So might this lead to that recession that everyone's been worried about for quite some time? We don't really know. We're going to have to see. But we will hear from the Bank of England government a little bit later on today. But to get back to, to your question, yes, it does look likely that interest rates are going to rise even beyond where they are right now. As for how much, we don't really know. We look at what markets are expecting. Markets are pointing towards interest rates getting up to 6%. 6%. We just don't know. And there's this kind of paradox here that maybe by raising rates a little bit higher today, a little bit faster today, the bank might well be able to make sure that that ultimate peak that we get to might be a little less high. But again, that depends on what happens in markets. And most of all, this is the critical thing, it depends what happens to inflation. So we just need to watch what happens to inflation each month, month by month. And so far, it's been higher than expected in the UK. And the final worry, really, is that the UK does look increasingly like it has higher inflation than most other countries in the de developed world, higher core inflation. And now you have this central bank, the Bank of England, moving faster than the Federal Reserve, than the European Central Bank. So it does look like the UK is, if not an outlier, it does have a particular curse when it comes to inflation.